What's going on guys? Godlike Matt, we're back with more Demon Souls. It's been a minute. And uh but as you can see, I've been putting work. Look at that beauty top left corner. <clears throat> nice. Tower of Latria is pure black. I decided to make Latria pure black first. Uh, for a multitude of reasons, uh, mainly because I thought it would be the path of least resistance to play first. Um, I could have did World 1 instead of Latria, like I could have pure blacked World 1 instead of World 3. But I, I opted not to because it's um, World 1 has a lot of ways that you can uh, raise the the world tendency, which is kind of annoying. And also, World 1 has less ephemeralize than, uh, than World 3 has to offer. So I was thinking, because I had to weigh my options, right? When I was, when I was uh, deciding which level I wanted to do first, I had to think about which world would offer me the most ephemeralize I had to make that tactical decision because if I were to do a world that had no ephemeralize or not many um, you know I would spend seven to pure black it and then not get any uh, compensation like I wouldn't be able to pure black the next world because I would run out of ephemeralize so I had to choose a world oh goodness Okay, I actually thought he was coming at me, which is why I spammed my health just now. Ow! You bitch! I take a lot of damage on Pure Black. So, I never actually told you guys what the stipulations are for playing on Pure Black. And th there's a lot of them. Um, enemies have more health. They take less damage. They deal more damage. I have less maximum health in soul form, and there's newly spawned enemies in the level. That was almost pure bullshit world tendency. Hello. Um, but yeah, the fucking hitbox on that move, dude. Like, he'll use the move, and then I can still run in and get hit by it even after it's gone off. Like, that's some bullshit. Now, um, it's gonna be weird seeing me play the levels for you guys, because... Is this guy alive? No. Um, I've already ran through the level and picked up all the ephemeralize in it. Except one. I couldn't find one of them. There's supposedly... Uh like, um, four or five of them in this level, and I couldn't find the last one. Uh, it's apparently in an Iron Maiden, but I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. The Demon Souls wiki described it very poorly, and I couldn't find it because of it. It just said, after the first fog wall, in the first cell on, or not even in the first cell, it just said, in the cell on the left, after the first fog wall. And when I read that, I was like, which cell? There's fucking tons of them. And not to mention, the second you go through the first fog wall, um, there's two ways to go immediately, so you don't even know which way they're talking about. Um, so I didn't find one of them, but I am trying to loot all the levels. So, that being said... Um, I should end up finding it eventually, just by scouring the level. Because there's... I picked up some items, but not all. I picked up all the keys, and I had to do that in order to get through the level to get my FMLIs. Because there's a lot of locations that you need a key to progress. Like, I keep saying I'm using a key to open all these cells. This is a key I shouldn't even have yet, but, um... I already picked it up because I ran to the level and I needed the keys to progress, so... Unfortunately, that's just how I'm going to have to do it. It's kind of retarded, but there's no other way. Like, 
if I wanted to. Up. If I wanted to, I could have did this. I could have did pure black playthrough on uh, New Game Plus instead. I can definitely see the difference, by the way. I used to be able to kill these guys in four hits, but now it takes like five or six. So the, the their health has definitely gone up. And I had to kill myself seven times in body form, so that was fun. That took a while. Oh my god, a shard of moon... Oh wait, no way. I don't need moonlight. I got hype for a second. Um, I really want dark moon stones, because that's what upgrades my crescent flashing. But the only level that gives you dark moon stones are... Uh, World 4. And the stones are all each bound to their own world. Like, the crystal lizards in each world drop their own uh, mineral. And you can't get those minerals, like, outside of... Wow, that was bullshit. Um, outside of their level. Of their respective level. Man, fuck these guys, dude. Oh, my, really? Draglings, dude. <laughs> Fuck you! Pieces of shit poking me through that goddamn wall. I don't respect that. But, uh... Yeah, so... Finally, it, it actually feels like my challenge play has, like, officially started. Because I am only now actually playing a level in pure black. And, uh... As you can see, I'm, like, fresh out of Ephraim I had nine, but had to spend seven of them to pure black this level. But now we can run back. This is where I would have normally already picked up the key, and now you're supposed to backtrack and go the other way. But I already had the key. But there were items over there I missed, so I had to go and get them. But, uh, yeah. I, I always get so confuzzled. Like, I, whenever I do commentary, I'm, I'm, I want to talk about 600 different things. And all at once. So I'll end up just completely losing track. Of what I originally wanted to say. And it sucks. It's a problem I've had ever since I started YouTubing. So that's fun. But, uh... And for those of you who, are, who have been wondering why it took me so goddamn long to get this video out. Like, because it's been like a week since my last, uh... Fucking, uh... Dark Souls video, or Demon Souls rather. Is this seriously? The That's where the FMLIs is. It's not even after a fucking fog wall. I love how the, d the wiki just straight up lied. Well, at least I found it. So that's good. Technically, I don't need to pick up anything else, but I'm going to anyway. The whole point of doing a pure black playthrough is to play the whole game in pure black. So I might as well just loot all the items, even if a bunch of them I don't need. I don't mind, because, like, to me, it's just playing the game, so... Part of the game's experience is picking up all the items. Like, any perfectionist would do that. Every time I play a Souls game for the first time, I aim to get every single item just to know what they are. So, I'm gonna treat this playthrough as if I was doing that. So there's no worries. Like, I'm not just gonna, like, run past enemies and shit. I'm gonna try and kill everything, because, like I said... That's the whole point of the playthrough. Playing on pure black is to, uh, you know, experience the difficulty of it. And I'm not very well going to do that if I'm running past all the enemies. Alright, so here comes Dick Smack. What I'd like to do is run up behind this guy. Oh, wow, he just comes right into the room. What I'd like to do, though, is, uh... Or what I wanted to do was fucking... Ah! Yeah, beware of that. Your weapon pinging off the fucking wall. That's always a great way to die. Fucking, um... I wanted to backstab him, but... He ended up walking in the room. The fuck? I one-shot that guy. He usually takes two hits. Oh! Look at this guy! He comes running out of his cell trying to shank me. What is this, prison? <laughs> oh, wait. Ow! Spoke too soon! Holy shit. There's a lot of convicts in there, dude. And, 
they are it. Look at them! Trying to poke me full of holes. Damn, that singing lady is loud! Shut the fuck up! She's actually a shopkeeper. I love the NPCs in these games, dudes. They're so, uh... They're so, like... They're, they're all enigmas. They all have their own interesting backstory and secrets to them. That you wouldn't even know unless you, like, did their side quests and talked and exhausted all their dialogue. Uh, it's all stuff you wouldn't ever figure out unless you gave them the time of day. Pretty sure there's an enemy in one of these. Um, Iron Maidens. But, uh... Yeah, it's, um... But, but, but the NPCs are always very fascinating. And uh, it's it's definitely a big part of the experience in these games to to fully explore them and do their side quests and like otherwise you're not really enjoying this game for what it is. Look at this fucking dickhead, dude. He don't give a fuck. Oh, cheesy. Normally they do the uh, the stun move immediately after the 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 nuke, but he didn't do it. He went for another fucking nuke. That was bullshit, dude. I'm gonna go through so much fucking health. It's not even funny. Run! Convicts coming out of the Iron Maidens. Yo, how is he alive? That's some bullshit. Here's where another key would be, but I already got it. And here's a gap. So we actually have to run back. Well, I pretty much came over here for no reason. But again, I wanted to... Gotta get my killings in. Otherwise, what's the point? We haven't seen any Black Phantoms yet. That's one thing that will kind of be a new experience for me while doing this playthrough. Is, um... I've... I've only pure blacked all the levels once before. Well, actually twice, because I've platinumed the game twice. But, um... When I did it... Up! Fucking camera's all over the place, dude. Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Um... Yeah, I've only done it twice before, because I've only platinumed the game twice. And you do have to pure black the levels to platinum, because there's items you can only get through pure blacking a world. Because they're items you wouldn't regularly be able to get otherwise. Here's where the loud-ass singing bitch is. Shut up! And yeah, when you walk in, she immediately shuts the fuck up. Pretty sure she's ugly as fuck, if I re recall. Like, look at her fucking face, dude. Wait, actually, I have a telescope. That useless-ass fucking item Ostrava gave me. It'll actually come in handy. So we can inspect just how ugly her ugliness goes. Look at this motherfucker. You look like a fate worse than death, as Hades would say. Holy fuck. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? <laughs> I've had and she that. talks like a regular fucking woman. But again, that's another really cool thing about these games. Like, um... You just have these... Obtain more souls when slaying enemies. Damn! She sells it for 50,000? That's well, a total rip-off, though, because... You can find that ring in one of the future levels. You don't need to buy it from her. But yeah, she's just gonna start singing again the second I leave. And there she goes. Like quack, clockwork. Quackwork? Quackwork. It's like quackwork. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get stabbed in here. I can feel it. I can feel it! Oh! I fucking called it! But, um... Yeah, like, it, it's pretty cool. Like, a lot of the, the NPCs in this game are just people going fucking insane. Because of their addiction to, to souls. That's how they start turning into demons. Like, 
in this game, souls are currency. Like, you get money from killing people. But it also... It's, it's not just a gameplay mechanic. Um, the souls actually, like, corrupt you in the lore. And the more of them you get, the more corrupted and demon-like you become. And you start changing. And it, it's funny, because it's also a metaphor for real life. Like, uh... The more money and power you get, the more corrupt you become, and it, it rings true in real life as well. So it's a, it's a little game analogy, a little life lesson for you guys. Think about it. Games can, can give you so much more than people know. It's not even funny. Great, now I'm fucking poisoned. Heals bleeding, heals poison. I'll take that, good sir. I should probably have my Lotus on Quick Select instead of my fucking Ephralis. Because I wouldn't want to accidentally use one of those. So here we go. Real Lotus, there we are. But, um. Yeah, I'm hitting you guys with the hard fucking facts, dude. Like, games are so much more than people treat them. I'd say that that's the case with old-fashioned people, though. Like, people who just do not give a fuck. Like, for most people, it's their parents, depending on what generation you are. Like, if you're from my generation, almost all parents from my generation um, consider video games to be a complete waste of time, a joke, like, you know. And they don't take it seriously at all. I don't have the key for Frake? I thought I already got it. Did I miss one? Or maybe you get it in the next level? I actually can't remember. Huh. I actually thought I'd be able to free him, but... Oh well. I really don't care. I, I don't need him for any reason. I don't plan on using spells. But, uh... Yeah, you know, uh... Oh, most parents from my generation think that way. Very close-mindedly about video games, but... They couldn't be more wrong. Video games have offered me so much in my life and have made me so much smarter, so much more intelligent. It's not even funny. People think that's a joke. It's it's really not. This guy fucked me up, by the way. Is he going to shoot a laser at me? I don't want to fight two at the same time. That's not going to be fun. Ah! Let's go far Fuck, dude. How the hell am I gonna kill those guys? They're right fucking next to each other. Actually, I just remembered that I have a fucking bow and arrow. Now, you wouldn't think it, but... Shooting enemies in the head in this game actually does do more damage. No! Shit, I wasted another arrow. No. Oh, here we go. He's actually scoping out the place. The the targeting in this game is awful, man. Trying to line up the shot is so difficult. Ah! Hup! Holy, that guy almost annihilated me, dude. Look at that shit. Still such a threat from all the way down there. My god. If you guys are wondering where I got the bow, um, I bought it from the Grave Robber in World 4. I know he's right there, dude. I don't want to get too close. Or actually, maybe I should, just to get the drop on him. But I don't want him to nuke me through the wall again. There's a fucking Black Phantom in there, holy shit! Trying to line this thing up is cancer. Hup! 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 Shoot him! Yep. Why is he alive?! That last arrow should have hit him, but it didn't. And I'm screwed. Oh, he fucked. Dude, even...
trying to be a fucking little cheese and kill these enemies from far away. It's still such a risk. Because they can long range battle you. Oh, I got so many hits in on him. Hoop! Hoop! Yo, you wanna play me in the long game? Think a fucking again, good sir. I like that you can dodge while you're aiming. It's pretty cool. He'll stop shooting eventually. There we go. Hit him in the head. Come on. No. Oh. Holy shit, I just keep missing. The analog is so bad. Like. Holy. How did I miss that? Come on. Okay, I think with this guy, I should probably, like, run up and fight him, because he's going to take forever. Although, I'm honestly so terrified. Because he will destroy me. He'll undoubtedly one-shot me. Maybe I'll, like, just half his health and then run up and, uh... Fuck him up. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll just run up and fucking fuck him up now. Let's go, bitch! Now he's gonna do his stun. You're gonna wanna dodge that, and then he's gonna run at you like a dumb shit. And you're gonna wanna fuck him up. And there you go! It's all about knowing the, the fucking rhythm, guys. Just gotta know how the enemies operate. Is there a fucking another one in here? Holy shit, three of them in a row. One of them was a black phantom. That was brutal. Alright, so this will actually just lead right back to where I was. Although, wait. Actually, maybe I should open this gate first. I know this leads over to the ballista. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't think it's a dead end. Yeah, no, this leads over to the ballista. So, I'll come back. I'll come back this way. Let me just grab my items first. Bada beep bop boo biddly bop. See, I liked that fight because, like, at first I felt bad about my decision to buy the bow. Because the whole, it's the whole reason, the, the whole reason I felt bad about buying the bow was the whole reason that I don't want to use spells. Because the spells feel really cheesy. And if I'm just killing enemies with spells, like, spells are so good in these games in PvE. Like, which is players versus enemies. Um, spells are just amazing, and they make all the Souls games infinitely easier to play. Wow, there's another Black Phantom down there. Um, they make all the Souls games way easier to play, because they just do. Like, it's so much easier to fight by being a pussy, and uh, staying back, and fucking shooting from ranged. So, that, for that reason, I felt bad buying the bow. But... Um, my, I kind of caved in for, for one main reason, which is, uh, oh my god, lining this up is just, there we go. I caved in because, mainly because, uh, the bow is, like, garbage. Oh, and he fucking one-shot me, dude. Oh my god. Brutal! Fucking brutal! Oh my goodness! Literally one mistake against the Black Phantom and you're done! Fuck! Now I gotta get all the way back there, son of a bitch! Alright, so I've made a little bit of an executive decision here. I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm actually gonna head downstairs instead of going back to where I was because, um... Oh, there's Black Phantom Riddell's over there. Oh, shit! Um, actually, I just remembered, but I made an executive decision because I don't want to fight those three fucking octopus again, especially an, an extra black fandom, so I'm actually going to come up behind the one that killed me from the opposite way, but, uh, yeah, I, I and I'm also going to skip black phantom Riddell for one very important reason. A lot of you guys might be thinking, oh, what, Matt, don't puss out, fight him. 
But here's why I'm not going to. And it, I actually have a legitimate reason for not fighting him. Uh, it's not because I'm a pussy. The reason why I'm not going to kill him is because if you kill him, he raises your world tendency up by three levels. Which will take away a lot of my progress because I died seven times and used seven ephralis to get my Latria to pure black. So I'm not going to just kill Riddell and um, raise it up back three levels and take away all the progress I made. Instead, what I'll do is um, I'll just fucking... What I'll do is I'll probably, like, after I've beaten, like, all the bosses in the game and I'm not worried about, like, dying anymore. I'll just fucking make, like, an extra video, like, before I beat the game of me, um, going into all the worlds and killing the Black Phantom versions of the NPCs. And it'll be its own video of me just doing that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Holy, he does so much damage and it's hard to hit him. I don't think I have enough arrows to kill him either. Like, let me just see how much damage I deal to him. Barely any. Well, that kind of sucks. How the hell am I going to kill this guy? Shoot another laser at me. That'd be helpful. Yeah. can't even hit him! That's how I'm gonna have to do it. That's how I'm gonna have to kill him. It's gonna take fucking forever, but... I need him to just shoot a laser at me, and then I'll run up and hit him. Do you like to me, bitch? Do you like to walk away from me? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to react. There we go. That's literally how I'm gonna have to take forever, but... It's working over that's what you do, though. That's what you do, though. It's just, uh, finding exploits like this. You can totally take advantage of enemies like attack patterns. And that's a very important rule of these games. If you want to get anywhere. Oh, that's something like this. Come on! Come on, do it! I'm almost dead. I'm almost trapping, dude. I'm gonna get a sudden move. He's, like, on me. He's, like... Again, again. I'm just gonna go ham next time. Go ham! Gotcha. Stupid bitch. Look how much money he gave me. It was absolutely worth killing him. It just took forever. But it was worth it. I won't deny it. <sighs> Only thing I'm worried about now is fucking just losing my money. Don't lose your money, Matt! You need that! Definitely need that. That's for sure. But it's kind of nice, you know. Like, I got a lot of the items already, but not all of them, so... At least you guys get to, like, watch me actually play the level. Legitimately. I'm almost done the level, actually. We're almost done, lads! Um, now, unfortunately, to get the Ephraim that I grinded earlier to, to pure black this level, um, I did have to turn off the Ballista, so you guys did miss me do that. But the, but I will have you know... I did it perfectly. Like, I, I, I'll show you guys how I did it, but I didn't fuck up. It didn't kill me once. Where does this go? Because I can't remember. I know it goes upstairs, but, like, where exactly does it bring you? This is a fucking way I've never gone yet. It appears to be locked. Motherfucker! Oh, I think that... That's the door that you need the key from 3-2. There's a, there's a key in the next level that opens doors in this level. And that's one of them. I, along with Lord Riddell's cell. You can't free Lord Riddell? Oh, fuck. This is going to be tricky. I just need him to come closer. I don't want to fight him so far away. Come to me, my bitch. Fuck, I wanted to run up and hit him there, but... He's just gonna turn around and make me his bitch. I 
I don't want to get too far away from him because the second he starts shooting those soul arrows. That's when shit's gonna happen. Yeah. He definitely does have a pattern. Every time he does the nuke, he'll do the uh, the stun, and then he'll run towards you. It's just about like, cause if you fight him for long range, you're playing his game. But actually, I meant to say that earlier. That's why I didn't feel so bad about buying the bow. Because there's some enemies where that's the case. He's definitely one of them. Where even though I have the bow and it looks like I'm trying to cheese it. Technically, I'm not. Because he's even like 10 times deadlier than I am at long range. I, actually, I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so this is how I did the ballista. Normally, that statue down there is open up and it's shooting arrows at you. But it does it in two waves. It'll go one two and then it'll reload and then it'll go one two and it just doesn't have in that pattern so when you get here if you just one two time the dodge rolls perfectly one two you could just do that all the way up to it until you get to the the switch for it which is behind it and then you could just turn it off and that's how i did it there's the black phantom that killed me son of a bitch now i know this way leads can't remember actually I think there's an NP uh, yeah yeah there's an NPC up here and he tries to trick you not up this one he's up on the other side but uh or actually this might be the right one yeah I think this is the right one actually um so at the end of this walkway I'm gonna run into an NPC and this is one of the many great things about the Souls games is NPCs like this where uh, they try to trick you and they'll say because in most video game players hearts or, or not really their hearts but in most video ga game players minds it's usually their automatic reaction to treat characters and games nicely because that's just usually the more optimal outcome but in this game, they totally do a twist on that and play with your mind. See, look. What, what do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. So you would hear that and think, oh, well, the poor bastard, I can't kill him. But if you don't kill him, I love how I missed him like 20 times just now. If you leave that, that guy alive, um, he totally fucks you over in the boss fight, because that, the room below me, actually, the room in there, the, the church room, where all the enemies are there, if you can just see them over the railing, uh, that's the, that's where you fight the boss, and, um, if you were to leave him alive, and then go into the boss room and start fighting the boss, he starts shooting fucking shit down at you from the ceiling, and it makes the fight way harder, and it's like... Well, I probably should have killed him. And you would only find that out the hard way, but... Since I've already played all these games, and I... Know them like the back of my ass... Uh, yeah! So I already killed the NPC that was here. Normally there'd be a, a Black Phantom here. But I already killed him because... First of all, he was a pussy. He was so easy to beat. Like, it, it wasn't even worth watching me kill him, in all honesty. You didn't miss much. But I killed him because he drops two, um, oh god, I do not want to fight him in the staircase. But uh, I killed him because he drops two ephemeralize, and that was definitely very much desired by myself. So I killed him. Gave me a couple extra ephemeralize. I thought, why not? You know what I mean? I needed the f -mobiles. And again, you guys weren't missing anything. Like, he was a punk bitch. I keep saying he, but it was a she, actually. I kicked her ass! I don't discriminate. In real life, I do. I'll absolutely be sexist to women in, in real life. I'll be like, oh, oh you're a girl! Haha! <laughs> oh, I should probably... Should probably go easy, you know. 
Absolutely, that's me. Because, like, I'm old-fashioned that way. That's how I was brought up. I was brought up to be, like, chivalrous and treat women like women. But that view of women is old-fashioned. Because nowadays you're supposed to, or not supposed to, but nowadays it's right to treat women equally. And I'm, I'm all for that. That's great. I think that's great. I'm not against it at all. I'm all for treating women equally. But uh, I, at the same time, I still carry over those old habits from my childhood, you know? Treating women like women. Like opening doors for them, not letting them do anything to, uh, you know... Like, not letting them do, like, hard labor and while you just stand and watch. Like, that ain't me. <gasps> Come here, you little fuck. Don't want him to like cheese one shot me. Cause I'll be pissed. Just going with the rhythm. You wait for the nuke, you wait for the stun, and when he drops his guard, you run up and hit him. Usually you only have enough time for two hits. I could have killed him there, but whatever, I'll just wait. Oh, he actually bled to death, nice. That's actually like a random status ailment that you can inflict on your enemies in this game. Like, if you just slash them enough, eventually they will start bleeding from being slashed so often. How the fuck do you get over there? Because, like, now I'm genuinely curious. I thought you get over there from here, but I don't think that's the case. How the fuck did I miss that stuff? I know there's a way. I don't remember having to come back to the level to get those things. I'm pretty sure I missed them. If I have to, I'll edit this out, but I'm actually going to run back and see how the fuck I missed that stuff. Oh, I think it's right there, actually. You drop down, and then you run across. Let me try that. So happy I got my money back, by the way. The boss is a bitch. Also, uh, one thing... Uh, to also note about World Tendency is, um, when you kill a boss, I needed to be really careful there, and I recommend that you do the same, but, uh, one thing to note about the bosses in this game is that when you kill them, uh, they up your World Tendency by one. So, when I kill the boss here, it's going to put my world tendency up one. And I don't want that. So, oh shit, I almost ran off the fucking level. How? I thought this was the way up. But I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. There's another way to get over there. What the fuck? How do you get over there? But yeah, so, uh, anyways, more of the story. When I beat the boss, I'm going to have to kill myself again. To put it back to pure black put it back to pure black Blah. but yeah it looks like that's down this way but I don't recall seeing a door that led out there over here or oh it was behind the coffins oh shit I didn't even that's how these games get you they got some sneaky shit. Shard Moonlight. Didn't need that. But whatever. We got it. And what's over here? Better be fucking worth my time. I swear to God. Be a stock. Complete waste of time. Alright. Well, off to the boss. Let's kill that bitch. Let's kill her. Now, in case you guys were wondering... I almost ran into that fucking hole, and that would have just been amazing. But, uh... <laughs> what, something you, you guys might be wondering is, Matt, why are you playing the level while dead? It would be a lot easier, and you wouldn't get one-shotted if you were alive. Um, my Ephemeralize, fact is, 
way too valuable right now. I can't waste them on making the level a little easier to play. So, majority of these levels, if not all of them, are going to be played while dead. Plus, it adds more challenge. So, I'm, I'm okay with that, at least for now, until it pisses me off and then I feel the need to make it easier. But as for right now... Um, yeah, I can't, I can't afford to use my FRLIs to make the level a little easier. I just have to fucking, uh, <clears throat> save them up so I can pure black the other levels. Whoa! Man, I really wish I could fucking play online. But if I log into the online server, it'll bump my world tendency up, and I really can't afford that. Defeats the whole purpose of my playthrough. So here is the first boss of World 3! She's quite misleading. I've never known what that is in her fucking second right hand. It looks like a loaf of bread. Like, look at that thing. What is it? It's a fucking loaf of bread. But yeah, you would look at her and you're like, Oh man, she's cute as fuck. Wow. What? She couldn't possibly be any harm. I can't believe these enemies keep dropping Moonlight Shards. That seems really rare. Now, this boss, um, this boss has been done several times in the Soul series. In terms of, not specifically this boss, as a character. But what they've done was reuse how to battle her over and over which is you hit her she disappears and then a bunch of clones of her reappear and now you got to figure out which one of her is the real one now in demon souls they've made that near impossible to figure out you literally just have to get lucky but in the other games they make it more obvious oh actually no no wait i'm i'm wrong there is a surefire way to figure out which one's the real one. All the fake ones shoot little pew lasers, but the real one shoots like massive ones. Whoa, I found the real one instantly. That's so lucky, actually. Look at all the damage I got off art. Mm. I got so lucky, although I fucked up majorly just now. I actually could have killed her. I. The fight should be done already. But, um... Ah, oh, shit, I can't run past her. Shit, man, I should be done. Oh, she's over there. There we go. But what happened was, uh... When I went to go ham on her, I actually dropped the combo. Like, I, I, I hesitated and stopped attacking her for, like, one second. And if you, if you do that, uh, she'll fall out of your combo and then immediately uh, her first reaction is to teleport away. So, you really don't want to drop the combo. And by combo, I mean just fucking go ham and keep hitting her with R1 like this. You could cut up the benches. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that shit. Mmm. Fuck you. Well, there we go, guys! World 3, level 1. We're done 3 1. Oh, on pure black. That was. That was decently, um. Challenging. Like, I died. So that's something. One of the black phantoms one shotted me and killed me. So I'd say it was, you know. Like, and, and when you're playing these games, like. Again, I make them look easy. Like. It's literally you make one mistake you die. That's how all these games go and because I'm so concentrated and in the zone and I Know these games so well uh, I'm able to make them look easy, but it's really not Like I said literally one fuck up Will cause your death and then constant retries or losing your money making it harder All that good shit so now watch as I get fucking abducted and whisked away. You know what was really cool about this game though? Like, uh, because this game, this was the first Souls game ever, and then the license went to Bandai Namco. 
because this game was was published by Atlas, which are the same people who make uh, Disgaea, I believe, I think, and uh, Persona and Catherine and all those games. But um, they made this game. And then the license went to Bandai Namco, and that's when we got all the Dark Souls games. But uh, what's really cool is this game still gets acknowledged by the Dark Souls games. Like, like there's references to this game in, um, in, in the Dark Souls games. And, and that's really cool because it tells you that the lore of this game still exists in the Dark Souls universe. Like, this game isn't completely separate from the Dark Souls games. Because, like, you could find, like, like, uh, you know, cave carvings and pictures and, and, uh, like, even verbal references to this game in the other games if, if you, uh, you know, really pay attention. And it's really cool. I really love that. I, I love that this game isn't treated as an outcast to the series. Like, it's actually incorporated in the other games. And I thought that was really cool. But, um... That's going to be it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. That That was my first real pure black level that I've played so far. And that was cool. So now I'm going to have to die again. Um, actually, I totally forgot that when you beat the boss, you uh, you get resurrected. So that's pretty cool because I won't have to use an FMLI. Uh Now I can just kill myself again in, in World 3-2 and it'll put, it, put me right back to pure black. So um, anyways, guys. Stay tuned for more. There's definitely going to be more. And, uh... Keep watching, because there's more Demon Souls to come. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I will definitely see you... In the next one. So have a good one, guys. And take care.